I wonder what would have happened to us had we not got out when we did. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan are piling fresh criticism on the British royal family in new much-awaited episodes of their Netflix documentary series released on Thursday. In one, Harry accused his brother Prince William of screaming at him during a summit to discuss his future. He also accused William's aides of trading negative stories about the couple with the media. He also blames the pressures of negative tabloids for Meghan's miscarriage. Author of Diana, A Life in Dresses, Claudia Joseph, said that Harry slinging insults at William could have an irreparable effect. It is, as I said, damaging to the brand, the firm and the institution. It's more a general narrative that Harry and Meghan have, have talked about of how they were treated by the royal family. There are no specific instances of they lied here, they did this. There's n so it's slightly difficult for them to rebut anything because it's, it's accusing a fa an institution of treating Meghan differently because of her skin colour. Um, and, it, you know, either people will believe that or people won't believe that. Royal commentator Emily Andrews said that ultimately the documentary won't change anyone's opinion on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Most people already have an opinion of Harry and Meghan, and that perhaps won't change people's opinion very much. I mean, if you if you like Harry and Meghan, you're going to watch it and go, "Oh my God, poor them, this is so awful." If you hate Harry and Meghan, you're going to watch it and go, "Oh my goodness, what have they just shut up?" There's a cost of living crisis going on. But I do think they come across very well, and I think they come across very sympathetically. Both Buckingham Palace and Williams Office, Kensington Palace, have said they would not be commenting on the documentaries.